Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Deluxe Class Skytread and I love this toy. Originally released in November of 2018, this is a Deluxe Class figure and retailed for approximately $20. Now this is another one that I found at Ross recently for about 7 or 8 bucks, and again was very happy uh, to find it because this was actually one that I sort of regret it not getting because I actually do like Sky Tread a lot. I've got the G1 figure, I've done a review on it, and uh, it, I just really love that G1 Sky Tread so much. And this was one that after it came and went, I was like, man, I really should have picked that one up. I know I'm being pickier about my pickups, but uh, that was one I should have picked up because I just like that figure and the concept of that figure so much. So as you can see here, Sky Tread and vehicle mode is actually two vehicles. We've got a jet and we've got a uh, sort of a tank, um, Jason the Patriot Prime might be able to help me out with this if this is maybe like a more of a howitzer. I was in a tank unit in Korea and we had uh, M1 Abrams. This is certainly not that. Um, I'm wondering if this is more of a uh, howitzer style. Uh, although I think howitzer, I don't know. Maybe Jason can help me out on that, which kind of tank this is. But uh, yeah, the jet is kind of, sort of ish, uh, very ish, uh, but very reminiscent of a Phantom uh, is what that one looks like to me. So yeah, very cool little... Uh, vehicles the uh, the tank part does have a little wheel so he can roll just fine and then the jet can sit there and it can be in your hand and fly around that way <laughs> uh, they are approximately the tanks about four inches long uh, four and a half for the jet with a wingspan of about three and a half inches and uh, they're both about an inch and a half tall so there you go now let's uh, let's take a look at these individually of course the jet very nice on the top there and of course he's gonna have some kibble on the bottom there a little bit of blockiness uh, which is not very aerodynamic, unfortunately. But there you go. Uh, it is It is going to be necessary. Uh, but there you go. There's the jet. Looks pretty nice. And then, of course, the uh, the little tank. The little tank looks pretty perfect all the way around. Uh, it got a little bit of hollowness on the back, but it's not very obvious. You know, where you, if you look at the bottom of the jet, yeah, uh, you can see those are kind of robot arms, but not with the uh, tank. There's really nothing there to kind of hint at him being a robot in disguise. So that's pretty cool. Uh, very, very minor gripe that I have on this is that there really is no way to connect these together. I would have liked to have seen some sort of a peg or a tab or something where you can tab these together uh, like you did with the G1 figure um, to make it transform. Um, that would have been cool if, if there was a way to, like, I mean, you can sit them there and that's, that's okay. I mean, he'll sit there, but it would have been cool to see some sort of a, a nod to that original gimmick and have them tab on or peg on or something just so that you could display them like this if you wanted to which is really, really cool. Uh, real quick, for comparison, let's see how we do this. Let's put these guys here like this. And uh, for comparison, we'll bring in the G1 Sky Tread so you can see what these like, these guys look like together. Of course, my Sky Tread has been uh, enhanced with uh, Toy Hex stickers, so it's got the little upgrade kit, which really gives this figure a, a really nice upgrade and a facelift. So there you go. That's what these guys look like together. So. Set this guy off to the side and let's get into transformation. Oh, real quick, he does have, he does come with these two guns that you can take off. And they got the five millimeter pegs. And as you can see on the vehicles, there are pegs pretty much everywhere. So you can peg them anywhere you want. Of course, the long one is kind of meant to be the turret of the tank. Um, you can put it anywhere else if you want, but that's kind of where it's meant to be. And of course, with this one, you can peg it on the, you saw me, I had it here on the front because that's what the G1 figure did but you can pick it on the other side where'd it go or you can pick it here on this side if you want or you can give it to the jet have it on the top there like that if you want uh, there's a peg here on the bottom you can do that too yeah there you go or you can put it on the wings heck you can even do this you can take one there take the other one and give them one there and that's a thing you can do so you know you got options stuff that you can do so we'll go ahead and take these out actually we'll go ahead and remove both of these and set them off to the side move the camera over and we're gonna start with the tank so you're gonna come up here to the top of the tank open these up and then you're gonna take this peg right here this is pegged right in there to the front so we're gonna go ahead and take this unpeg it bring it all the way up and straighten this up this is gonna be the uh, robots hips take the entire front of the tank and separate it and bring these forward and close these up and there you go that is the robots bottom half so we're gonna set that over here bring the jet in 
start at the bottom we're gonna take these and unpack them they are pegged in right there on the back of the jet so unpack those and tight okay <laughs> and then bring these out on that hinge there so you're gonna bring these up and spin the arms all the way around and bring the fists out so spin the forearm 180 degrees and bring out the fist next we are going to take this peg down here and bring this up Take the front of the jet, bring this down, and that is going to tap there to there. And I didn't do this out of order, I hope. And then we're gonna bring these tabs, these are gonna, uh, these side panels rather, there's a little tab right there. It's gonna tab into that slot right there. So tab that in there. And there is the top half of the robot. You can leave the wings out if you want, or you can fold these over. Again, because I'm a fan of the G1 figure and the G1 figure had them out, I like to leave these out. So there's a port at the bottom of the torso, and then of course there's that square peg right there on the top of the leg, so you can take it and peg that together. And there, you have Skytread in robot mode, and he looks really, really nice. Here in robot mode, Skytread is approximately five and a half inches tall, and he looks really, really nice, very reminiscent of his G1 figure and uh, just a very nice update to that original figure articulation wise his head is on a ball joint forward backward swivel side to side and of course turn uh, the arms can go forward and backwards of course if you move the wing back you can go all the way around shoulders can go in and out he can rotate at the bicep and he can bend at the elbow no uh, yeah there is actually waist articulation so you can rotate at the waist but of course as you can see hindered by this back of the wing uh, of the tail right there the hips, let's get all this out of the way and straighten back up again. Hips can go forward and backwards, again, hindered by the tail. In and out, rotate at the thigh, bend at the knee. And then, of course, the feet can go forward and backwards due to transformation. And you also have a nice range of ankle tilt, as you can see. Very, very cool. So let's bring in the weapons. And now you've got two weapons. Uh, this one uh kind of messes with my head a little bit because again uh going back to g1 g1 had the little one small rifle that you can hold in his hand and that would have kind of been it because the turret of the tank actually integrates into the robot and hides away after the transformation so in my head this kind of leaves me with nothing to do i personally prefer to just pick it on the back like that and leave it there and just kind of out of the way and i kind of prefer this look for sky Trek. but of course you can give them double wielding so you can do that if you want to do that or you can take the long rifle and it's got a port in the back with a little slot you can actually peg this into the front and give him a really nice big long sniper rifle and that looks pretty good too if you want to do it that way that actually looks pretty nice so there you go you got options again uh and for me this is kind of the way i like to look at it because you'll see here in a moment bring it in for comparison the original g1 figure only had the one short uh, rifle here is the uh, the barrel of the tank right there you see how it integrates into the robot so I kind of like to make them look you know similar or the same so, there you go very very nice figure again I'm very glad that I found them uh, I found them at Ross for eight bucks uh, because a it's it's a fantastic deal and uh, B after it came and went in retail I, I was kind of uh, regretted you know not getting it so uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm very glad that I found it. Fantastic figure. If you find it, absolutely add it to your collection. Again, a Siege figure that does not have a whole lot of that paint uh, scraping or that, you know, that muddy um, paint detail that they give him. He's got a little bit on the side of the tank, which fits in perfectly. And otherwise, you know, the vehicles look nice. The robot looks nice. Very nice, clean look. I like that a lot. So, again, very, very nice figure. And I think that, I think I'm going to leave them together for the outshot. And I think that about does it for Transformers, War for Cybertron, Siege, Skytrek. What did you think of this figure? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got that donate button if you want to hit on it. I would certainly appreciate it. Share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.